welcome back to another video. Today we are doing episode two of my muscle gain slash bulking series. And if you haven't guessed from the title, we are doing a full day of eating. So this is actually a full day of eating on a rest day whilst trying to gain muscle. I'll do a full day of eating whilst training as well, but I wanted to do both. So today's Wednesday, it's always my rest day on a Wednesday. I train Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, and then train Thursday, Friday. And that's like the schedule that I'm in at the moment and it's working really well. So I've actually just come back from Kent, which is why you saw those clips this morning in a completely different kitchen. And on my way back, I popped into Morrison's and picked up some food that I'm going to be needing for today slash the next few days. So I'll just show you what I've got and I'll run you through a few of the recipe ideas that I've got coming up. But before we end this video, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure you let me know what you want to see next. Okay, so starting first with carbs, I went a little bit overboard, but it is what it is. We've got some snack jacks, snacker jacks because these I find are the best thing to eat when it comes to getting up your carbs. They're virtually zero fat, zero protein. So it's a really good thing to eat if you're trying to bulk up your carbs. And obviously when you're getting muscle, carbs are fuel. We've got some wraps. These are the ones that I use. A lot of people always ask. I find that these wrap the best. Cereal choice of the week. Of the wheat. Oh my God. I mean, that was a good pun. Cereal choice of the week are these blueberry wheats. I love these. I don't know why. I just really do. We have some mini gummy dodgers because I love adding these to my baked oats. And that's actually what we're going to be making for breakfast this morning. We have these Velveeta strawberry yogurt joy crunch because... These are great as a pre-workout snack. Again, purely just carbs. Something I wouldn't really eat if I was trying to lose fat because obviously it's just like sugary carbs. But yeah, really good if you're trying to gain muscle and have energy. And then we've just got some cookies because I'm going to be making a cookie shake. I'm obsessed with that as well at the moment. I don't know what it is. But yeah, that's like my carb sources. Then we just have some, oh, kind of other carbs as well. We've got some stuffed pasta. Quite excited for that. Sticky rice, this is genuinely the best rice ever. If you haven't tasted it, you need to taste it because it tastes so good. I could literally eat a packet of this by itself and I don't know why. We just got some gum because I always chew on gum. And then some coffee, oat milk for my coffees. These, I love these protein puddings. They're so good on the macros and calories and they're really good to add into baked oats as well for like a chocolatey center. Then we've got some creme fraiche and Philadelphia cheese soy sauce and mirin because that's gonna be going in a dish that i am making it's like a beef and ginger stir fry which i'm excited for we have some sugar-free jam here love this one and we've just got some shredded chicken again that's for another recipe that i'm gonna be doing and to be honest this is just laziness but i'm super busy so it helps and we've got some turkey bacon couldn't live without this that's for the same recipe very liquid but you guys don't want to see that <laughs> and then we've got spring onions parsley spinach and then some tomatoes so before we start this video off properly, this part of the video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh. Now you guys know how much I love cooking homemade meals and HelloFresh is exactly that. They deliver the ingredients in the exact portions that you need straight to your door and everything is just so fresh and it gives you just new ideas to cook good food. And obviously it's January. I know loads of you are probably going to be embarking on your fitness journeys, whether that's building muscle like me or losing fat or just wanting to feel good and HelloFresh actually do quite a few meals that are under 650 calories. So I wanted to go through this recipe with you today, which I picked out because it looks delicious. It is their soy lemongrass chicken and vegetable stir fry. How good does that look? I actually made one of their recipes this week and it was like a pulled pork burger. It was unreal. So the calories per portion for this are actually 553, six grams of fat, 84 grams of carb and 39 grams of protein. So a really decent amount of protein there. And this is exactly how you make it.
And there we go. There is HelloFresh's soy lemongrass chicken and vegetable stir fry. How good does that look, guys? Yum. For this whole bowl, there are only 553 calories. I'm sorry, but how good does that look? I'm so excited to eat this. If you guys want to try HelloFresh and order for yourself, you can use code HelloLE60 for 60% off your next box and 25% off the next two months and you'll get loads of free gifts. So as it's a rest day today, my calories are slightly different compared to a training day. Now, this isn't a necessity, but I'm just finding that it's working really well for me. And as I explained in last week's video, I don't really move much on my rest days. Apart from today, as you saw, I got up and I went for a walk on the treadmill for half an hour because I don't know, I've just been feeling like so stodgy. And when you're trying to increase your calories as well, you wanna feel hungry. So I was like, I need to get these steps up because they're literally like 5,000. So I've actually done that the past three mornings and it's helped so much with my digestion. And actually, do you know what? It's also helped with my productivity and I don't know why. I feel like it's just like kickstarting my body and putting it in a good mood. So yeah, I've been doing that. Like this morning, I've now already done five and a half thousand steps, which is great. So it makes me feel better and I just find it's kind of working for me. So calorie wise, I have actually changed my calories slightly. And that's because I feel like my body's adjusted to the increase in calories and I want to feel fueled and I want to keep progressing and I knew that this would kind of happen I didn't want to sort of increase my calories just ridiculous amounts in the first week so it's been a week and I'm feeling good I feel like I can push them up a bit more so we're going with 2100 on a rest day which is 250 carb 140 protein and 60 fat then on a training day I'm actually having 2500 calories instead of 2400 so they've also gone up by 100 and hopefully it's just going to help in regards to everything like my training this week has gone so well over the last week so I just want it to keep progressing basically but anyway Anyways, it is breakfast time. I'm absolutely starving because I've just driven back from Kent and I haven't really eaten anything apart from that cereal bar I had this morning. So we're gonna be making my all time favorite breakfast. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know what that is. And that is baked oats. And we're actually doing it jammy dodger flavor because I've been doing this recently and I've had so many questions. So I just wanna do it again. And it is my favorite breakfast, so why not? So for this breakfast, we're gonna need the my protein in packed whey. You can use vanilla or I've got cereal here. We've got some gluten-free oats. I love these ones. They are just so good. We're going to be using 50 grams of oats and a scoop of protein. Then we've got the sugar-free jam, which I just showed you, baking powder, and then some jammy dodgers and a banana. There we go guys there are my strawberry jam or jammy dodger baked oats for 437 calories and 30 grams of protein if that is not the perfect oat i don't know what is because that is just perfect crispy on the outside and gooey in the middle so recently i've really gone off breakfast and i don't know why i don't know if it's because i'm so full someone says you might be stressed I'm not really sure. I think the only thing I can really point it to is that I've been at my dad's and I haven't really been able to make the food that I would normally make because when you're in your own kitchen, I don't know about you guys, but you don't really want to spend that long in there. So everything's just been like quite rushed. And I feel like when I come back here, I just like crave my favorite breakfast, which is these baked oats. They're just so good. You can just change all the flavors. And if you're someone also who doesn't really like breakfast, but needs to get the calories in, then maybe try something like baked oats or something just different to what you're normally eating. I've also been eating a lot of cereal recently and I found that that's really helped. So yeah, just try and try and change it up because I know it can be really difficult. Honestly, too good. Mm. These literally taste like a jammy cake and jam sponge is my favorite kind of cake. I'm a jam sponge girl over chocolate cake. Midday snack is a my protein layer bar. This one is triple chocolate fudge. I haven't actually tried this one, so we can try it together. They've actually brought out so many new flavors, by the way, like so many. And normally I've tried every single one, but I haven't. Ooh, this one has like 
my chocolate on the top. That is really fuzzy. Mm. Okay, that's actually unreal. That is so toxic and so fudgy. I'm gonna rate that an eight. So in these layer bars, there's normally about 220 calories and 20 grams of protein. So if you struggle to get your protein up, honestly, a protein bar is such a great way to do that because it tastes like a chocolate bar, but it's got 20 grams of protein in. And most of us kind of struggle by like, I don't know, we're always normally short by like 20 to 30 grams. So a scoop of protein, a protein yogurt or a protein bar can literally just take you right up to your target. So this morning I actually took my progress photos for one week and I wanted to show you guys. So I'm just gonna pop it here on the screen so that you can see. So progress photos are such a good way to record your progress. Now, I actually haven't stepped on the scales this week purely because I'm like back and forth from like London to Ken all the time and I'm not gonna be on the same scales. So there's no point in me weighing myself because it's gonna be very different, different scales, way differently and this is also why scale weight is so irrelevant because it's just based on like one scale or in my case two so yeah i just haven't really weighed myself i'm just going by like how i'm feeling and i'm trying to gain muscle i'm probably gonna put on weight or well i hope that i would so it's okay um but yeah i haven't weighed myself yet i'm gonna jump on the scale tomorrow morning so i'll put it on my instagram sorry but i don't want to give you guys like a false number if i haven't actually done it yet but as you can see from the photo my glutes and shoulders actually look slightly more far I think I feel like my glutes have lifted a little bit as well which is great it's literally only been a week and I'd say like this has been such a great week of training like every session has gone perfectly and that is exactly what I wanted because my sessions weren't going that well so now that I've increased my calories I have so much more energy to have good sessions and it feels so good I've hit so many pbs over the last week and I've been loving it I've even got myself a log book so a book where I write down my sets reps weight exercises etc and I feel like a little geek I'm in the gym I'm writing everything down it's great and it's just so good to look back on and I feel like I'm finally in such a great rhythm which is just so motivating so if you are also a little bit unsure about like what to do honestly just set yourself a goal it helps so much so it is lunchtime. I'm not even that hungry, but obviously I need to eat. It's so important. And do you know what? Like if I wasn't tracking my calories and if I wasn't trying to build muscle, I'd probably only have a snack until dinner. And this is the game changer when it comes to building muscle. You have to just eat even when you're not fully in it because obviously calories are fuel and we need protein to build muscle. So for lunch today, nothing too heavy because obviously it's a rest day. So I've only got 2,100 calories, but I'm going to be making a cream me chicken quesadilla which i've made in the past but slightly different so i wanted to show you this one with you because it's got chicken and turkey bacon in it and it's just delish and so easy to make so for this recipe you're going to need one wrap we're going to need some spring onions one rasher of turkey bacon i'm going to add as my seasoning but you can use whatever you like we've got paprika and onion chicken seasoning and some garlic salt then we've got some mature cheese this is a low fat one. We've got some pre-cooked shredded chicken because I'm lazy. But if you haven't got this, then just cook a chicken breast and shred it. Then we have some creme fraiche and some light Philadelphia. Okay, so to make this recipe, all you're gonna do is combine the Philadelphia creme fraiche seasonings and spring onion together in a bowl. Add in your shredded chicken, coat it all up, then place it into a wrap, fold the wrap over halfway and then fry it off. And honestly, it's so good. Oh, and I forgot to say, cook your turkey bacon and then you're gonna like sprinkle that on top before cooking closing the room. guys there is my chicken and bacon quesadilla which is so quick to make so so good. so for this whole plate there is 416 calories and just under 40 grams of protein like absolutely unreal 
lunch is done i'm literally so full but that was so good but also guys i'm in different leggings because i had to film an advert so i had to get changed that is why um and also i was thinking it's so weird right like when you look in the mirror now obviously now i'm trying to gain muscle before i was always constantly like looking at my abs and like how i felt in regards to leanness whereas now i kind of like look in the mirror and i'm like oh like can i see extra muscle do i feel a bit better like i definitely feel as if my glutes are definitely starting to grow a bit and i know i've literally only been on this for like one week but in that photo that i showed you earlier the transformation you can definitely see that everything's sort of starting to start which is a really good sign good evening i literally don't know where the day's gone it's been the most busiest day but i'm really excited because dinner is one of my favorite meals and it is ginger chili beef and rice I love ginger chili beef and rice. I'm excited to share this with you. So it's actually super quick and simple. I'm gonna serve it with this that I showed you earlier, the sticky rice, because just for convenience, to be honest, you literally put it in the microwave for a minute. So yeah, this is how you make my sticky ginger chili beef. And there we go, guys. There is my ginger chili beef, which is 485 calories and just over 47 grams of protein. This actually looks so good. And it's just so simple, but also just so tasty. And it's so easy to meal prep as well. If you're looking for like a quick recipe to whip up, then that's such a good one. And that actually serves two. So if you wanna make it for more portions, just use two packs of beef and obviously double the ingredients. Mm. So yummy. If you want to add extra spice, just use fresh chilies. I actually didn't have any, which is why I didn't. But yeah, you could just use fresh chilies. So my favorite meal of the day is dessert. <laughs> I'm like one of these people that has breakfast, has something sweet, has lunch, has something sweet, has dinner, has something sweet. I don't know, I just always feel like I have to have something to get rid of like that savory taste. I don't know what it is. Um, but anyways, for dessert tonight, we're gonna be having a Lindahl's chocolate protein pudding, which I've already started. These are genuinely the best things ever. They are so good. Like in one pot, 104 calories and 14 grams of protein. So if you're someone that always is a little bit behind of your protein, just get something like that. It tastes like a chocolate dessert. And then I'm also gonna be having my favorite biscuit in the world. If you guys have never had a chocolate hobnob before, you have never lived. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be having that. Total cows are 286 and 16.6 .6 grams of protein. And that takes me over by 32 calories. So total calories for today are 2,132. Macros are 158 grams of protein, which to be honest is a little bit high. I normally aim for 140, but if I'm over, I don't really stress too much. I think when you're trying to build muscle, don't worry too much about hitting the macros. Like don't worry about hitting the macros, like absolutely bang on. It's more of a case of just ensuring that you're eating enough. Whereas if you're trying to lose fat, it's a lot more important to make sure that, you know, you are on the calories or under them and you are hitting your macros. So yeah, when you're trying to build muscle, it's important to focus on protein and then just eat. And you know, if you're a little bit over, a little bit under, it's not so much an issue, but just try and be sort of on it or over, I always kind of say. So yeah, 158 grams of protein, 57 fat and 242 grams of carbs. So yeah, that was a really good day actually. I feel good. I don't feel like too stuffed, which is good because obviously today's a rest day and normally on my rest days, I feel like just really full and I've increased my calories today, obviously. And yeah, it's gone okay. I think that walk this morning really helped to kind of kickstart everything. And I think I'm definitely gonna just keep up with that because it just has like so many benefits. Now that I'm on my muscle gain plan, I'm taking three rest days a week, but 
Rest doesn't have to literally mean like sitting on your sofa all day. And I think a lot of people stress about rest days and just doing absolutely nothing and worrying about, you know, their progress. But honestly, take it from me, you need rest in order to recover and to grow. But your rest days don't have to be like just sat down. Like you could literally have an active rest day. You could go for a walk. You could go for a bike ride. Do you get what I mean? Like you can do something active, it's fine. But it's just a case of like giving your body an actual rest from lifting weights because the tissues need to repair themselves. So don't beat yourself up about having rest days. They are so important. And I personally find that my body grows so much quicker and better when I have three rest days over two rest days. And I think that's because it has more time to recover. I'm less stressed. And also I just have more energy for my sessions. So my sessions go better. I push myself more and... It's just like an upward cycle to be honest. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I literally tracked all of my food on my app Elevate. If you haven't seen or downloaded Elevate, then make sure you do. I'll put a link below so that you can. Elevate is a recipe and workout app and it's just so easy to track your food on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating on a rest day. Next one will be a full day of eating on a training day. Probably won't be next week, but I will definitely do it. And if you have any more requests on videos whilst I'm trying to gain muscle, then please let you know i'm loving sharing this journey with you and i know that so many of you are also doing the same thing so yeah hopefully we can make some great progress in 2023 thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you at the same time next week bye, -bye.